If you click on this arrow down, it gives you several options. The select tool basically allows you to select any clip in your timeline. And if you hold control or command, you can select multiple clips. While this blade tool allows you to split clips where your mouse cursor is. As for this select leftward, as the name suggests, it lets you select all the clips from where you click to the left. Now you see everything to the left is selected. Similarly, to the select rightward, it selects all the clips from where you click to the right. Now these tools all have shortcuts. When you click, you can see all of the shortcuts. This right here is the undo button. When you change your mind about a setting edit you've made, you can click on this to undo or press Ctrl or Command Z on your keyboard. You see, as I click on it, it's undoing all the splits that I've done. Then if you change your mind about undoing, you can use this button, this reset button to redo. So you have it redoing everything I've done. Now this one splits right where the playhead is. If you click on it, so it splits the clip right where the playhead is. Now I have a split right here. For this one, it deletes to the left from where your playhead is. So if I put my playhead right Right here and I click on this, it deletes to the left. Similarly, the next one deletes to the right. So move my playhead right here and I press on it, it will delete everything to the right. This one is straight up delete option. When you select a clip, just press on it, it deletes that clip. And you can use this to add a marker to a point in the video. If you want to come back to a point, maybe later just move your playhead to that point and press this to add a marker. Now you see this is a blue marker. If I want to add an element to this point later, I can just simply move my element to that point. This one right here is the freeze frame. If I click on it, it freezes for some seconds and returns to the running. You can use this to create some nice effects in your video. This one right here is to reverse your clip. If I tap on it, it starts running backward. As for this, it's a mirror tool. It just simply inverts your video. Now it looks as though the man is running to the left instead of to the right. You can use this tool to rotate your clip um, by 90 degrees at a time. So if I tap on it, you see it rotates the clip by 90 degrees. Tap on it, it rotates again, rotates and rotates again. This resize is the crop tool for CapCut. When you click on it, you can use it to crop a video to the size you want and then tap on confirm. This part is cropped right now. What about the tools to the right? You can record a voiceover right within the CapCut's desktop app. Just tap on it and it gives you different options. It lets you select your input device, the volume, and then tap on this red button to start recording an audio for your clip once the countdown finishes. Now I'm recording an audio. Tap on this top button when you're done recording your audio. Now I'm recording an audio. I have an audio voiceover on my timeline. This tool is the main magnet. Now everything I drag downward is aligned so that there are no gaps in my final video. In other words, if I move a track like this, it returns back and snaps backward to the main track. But if I leave this off, now I can move my clip to wherever I want. You might want to leave this on if you are new to editing in the CapCut desktop app. What auto snapping does is that if you leave it off, it's difficult to align your clips. But when you leave it on, you see a blue vertical line telling you they are aligned. Linkage. What linkage does is that when you move a sticker or text on top of a clip, the text or sticker is automatically linked to that point. For instance, this subscribe button right here is linked to this part of this video. If I move the video on the bottom track around, the subscribe button moves with it. But if I turn this off, I can move this separately. Now for the preview axis, if I tap on this, wherever I move my cursor to, I can see what's playing on that track. But if I leave this off, I don't see anything except I manually play using this play button right here. If you over zoomed into your timeline and you want to zoom to fit to see everything in your timeline, just tap on this, shows you every element in your timeline. This tool right here is a zoom tool. You can drag this to the left or to the right to zoom into your timeline or click on this minus button to zoom out or this plus button to zoom in. The tool right here allows you to mute your track. This one allows you to hide the track. Now the track below is not visible, just the elements above it. This lets you lock a track. When you are done editing on a track, I want to lock everything on that track in place. Just tap on this to lock that track. You can't move anything in that track. You can move elements on other tracks around. However, that track remains locked. If you have any questions, let me know in the comments. Don't forget to give me a like and subscribe to the channel for more tutorials. I'll see you next time.